So you're about to select a provider to do your push notifications. In today's video, I'd like to make the point that not all of these tools are created equal. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna give you my own personal checklist for ticking off all the requirements that you need to know when choosing a push provider. Let's do it. So you've heard time and time again, it's all about the personalization. When it comes to push notifications and selecting a provider, make sure, first of all, that you can bring in data from external CRMs, not only the first name, but other different personalization variables as well. And make sure that you can inject these into the actual push notification text as well. A lot of push tools allow you to send out a very high volume, but they do this at the sacrifice of personalization. So they don't allow you to put in the person's first name or they don't allow you to change the push notification text in any way. Second, make sure that your provider supports a very high throughput of push notifications and that they can get up to a very high volume across two different platforms. So I think at Pulsate, for any individual client, we can do a million push notifications per 30 seconds without sacrificing the personalization. So yes, I can bring in my merge tags and I can dial up the throttle to max and I can send, if I need to, millions of notifications at a time. Great for alerts, but probably you don't wanna use them in the situation that you wanna segment and you, know, you wanna do geo-based stuff, but sometimes you wanna do breaking news, you wanna do breaking alerts, you will have to uh, have a provider that can provide this volume. Interactive push, in my previous video, I talked about interactive push. Sometimes you want to uh, you know, allow a customer to interact directly from the push notification without having to open up your app. They just don't wanna get a static notification with a few emojis. You want them to say yay or nay to the event you've invited them to. You want to ask them, do they like X or Y? Or uh, would they be, you know, do they want to click and collect and order this recommended product in time for lunch? Um, so interactive push allows you to do this. Again, this will be a big uh, yes, a big thing that you need to tick off to make sure your provider does this. Location um, and localization is the next point. Pulsate is one of the tools that allows you to send out in, in, in hundreds of languages if you need to, in, 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 in Arabic and in Japanese and English and Spanish. And basically by sending notifications in the local, uh, you know, language setting of that device is really gonna boost not only your open rates, but your conversion rates uh, later in the funnel as well. Multivariate testing is a big component of this. So make sure your provider allows you to send, you know, not only uh, you know, one uh, version, but also at least uh, an AB, a split test for push notifications, or even better again, you know, full multivariate where you can do as much as maybe 10 different versions of the push. And um, bonus points if, is if the system can automatically elect a winner uh, based on looking at a small cohort of sending uh, you know, the, the splits and then when it elects a winner, sending that to like 80% of the, of the target group. So next up, intelligent targeting. So yes, you need to be able to send at volume and do personalization, but all of this stuff is useless unless you can actually select the group of people that you want to get the push notification. So make sure there is really good segmentation, bonus points if it's real-time segmentation, and also that location targeting and some kind of event level targeting is baked into the solution as well. You want very good granular controls around the delivery schedule, maybe certain days of the week, maybe certain times of the day, and also don't forget about recurrences of the campaign and frequency and recency, capping, delay buffers, all of this stuff is really, really important. You may also wanna send campaign at the local time of a user. Um, if users are traveling and suddenly they're on a, you know, in a different country, a different time zone, and they're getting your push notifications in the middle of the night and they're waking, being woken up, not so popular. Your app is a prime candidate for uninstall. So a feature such as this will allow you to only send that notification in at that time, that desired time, in the user's local time zone. Bonus points again for intelligent targeting where it's not about time zone, but by looking at you know, when the users use your app and when they've opened your previous campaigns, picking an individual time to send for each individual user. This is kind of moving into the realms of you know, machine learning and predictive analytics, but a great feature um, if it comes built into a platform. I've put in in-app, it's kind of a little bit separate from push notifications, but again, having an option here to grab users' attention 
while you already have it, when they're in the app and they're already captive, and you wanna slide in an in-app notification. That be can be a great feature to use alongside push, which can really, uh, really um, complement each other. And of course, a rich media builder, if this comes with a, a push platform, better again. So, you know, it's one thing to allow your push notifications to be deep linked to a screen within your app, but then for every campaign, you gotta build these screens one by one. If you have a rich media builder, it means you can create with drag and drop and images and text. You can actually build the experience that then the SDK sucks it down and when they open the push, it renders this rich campaign. So there are my tips today for sending a, uh, for not sending rather, but selecting a push notification platform and provider and the things that you need to know and should look for in a provider. So don't compromise, uh, select the best and make sure you're getting all of these tools that you're gonna need and take your app to the next level and supercharge your results. I'm Patrick Letty, take care, see you next time.